from angels bending near the earth to touch their harps of
All right, everybody can have a seat. Everybody can have a seat. All right. So I just want to I just want to breathe at you guys for a minute here. And I love Christmas. Who else loves Christmas? No, I'm talking about loves Christmas. Let's go. See, we got the Christmas drip going on back here. I know he loves Christmas. See, that's what I'm talking about. All right. And I think a lot, of, a lot of years as Christians, we probably talk about, hey, there's a lot of things about Christmas nowadays that pull our focus away from the reason why we, as people who follow and believe in Christ, celebrate Christmas. And there's people who bring up arguments, well, was Jesus even born on that day? Does it, well, you know what? This is the day we choose to celebrate the significance of Jesus coming. And the last several Sundays, we've had messages that relate to Advent. Who's, who's heard of Advent? Who knows what Advent is? Okay, so what Advent is, is just the season before Christmas, all right? It's, it's about the month before Christmas, okay, starting at the end of November, beginning of December. And it's supposed to be this time where we, as Christians, are thinking about why we need a Savior, because ever since Adam and Eve ate that forbidden fruit, sin entered this world, we're born into sin, and we need Jesus to come into our lives. And that's why it's so significant, and that's why there's such a great need for a Savior. And that's what Advent is about. It's supposed to be a, a more serious, sober time when we're thinking about that. And then Christmas comes, Jesus is here, and we celebrate, and then and again, Advent isn't in the Bible. It's not something that's biblical. It's just a tool that we as Christians use to really make it more significant. And that's why I love this season. That's why I love that. So the entire Bible points towards Jesus. And I have this little Advent devotional book, and I love it because it, it goes through every day of Advent. It takes, it takes my family through a biblical story, mostly in the Old Testament, and it talks about how every single story in the Bible points towards Jesus. Because that's the point. That's the love story between us and God. And it's really easy to lose focus and, and get in, you know, it doesn't even have to be about the presence, right? I mean, I love presence. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I love presence. And I, I'm not ashamed to say I love presence. I love getting presence and I love giving presence. Okay? And that's okay. But I know that's not the point. And I love parties. I love people. I love this kind of stuff. I love getting around my friends and family and just partying all night, all day. But that's not the point. So what keeps me focused is getting in a habit of remembering that it's all about Jesus. And so that's what I want to do tonight. And so let's talk about David in the Bible. What was David's first job that we heard of in the Bible? Does anybody know? He was a shepherd. Okay, he took care of his family's sheep. And there's parallels all along the Bible. And that's what makes the Bible so awesome and interesting. And, and that's why I, I always, you know, we always want to encourage you to get into the Bible. Because if you actually get into it, there's some crazy stuff. Crazy awesome. Just also just crazy. Just murder and adventure and just all kinds of craziness. And, and there's all a point to it. And that's, that's the best part. So David in the Bible, he's a shepherd. And... Jesus descended from David's lineage. Okay? So this is all prophecy in the Bible. And there was a prophet named Isaiah. And he prophesied about Jesus' coming hundreds and hundreds of years before Jesus ever came. So in the Old Testament... Hundreds of years before Jesus was ever born, here, here's a prophet of Israel trying to prepare people's hearts for his coming. Okay? And then we come to David, and David was alive nearly a thousand, about a thousand years before Jesus came. And, and we have some parallels between David's life and Jesus as, and Jesus' role in our life. So David was a king. Jesus is Israel's promised king that's going to rule over the world, okay? David was a shepherd, and here's what David said about God. 
How many people ever heard in the Bible that David was called a man after God's own heart? So here's what, here's what David says. You guys might have heard this one. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me besides quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So this is David's picture of God. He's calling God his shepherd. And David knows about what being a shepherd is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about protection, security, affection, care, discipline, all of that. All of that comes in when shepherds are caring for the sheep, right? So David understood this. So then we get along and we come to Jesus. Jesus is born. Jesus is walking this earth. And here's what Jesus says about himself. He says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd and doesn't own the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he's hired hand and he doesn't care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as the father knows me and I know the father and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen, I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice, and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. And what he's talking about, the sheep not of this pen, is, is Jesus came first for Jewish, the Jewish people, God's people, and then Gentiles, which is anybody who's not a Jew. And I fall into that category. So I am so thankful that God made a way for us to all be one flock. All right, so a little bit later, in, at, that's in uh, John 10, sorry, John 10, 11 through 16. John 10, 27, a little bit later, Jesus says, my sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. So here we see a whole picture of a thousand years before Jesus is born. We have David talking about shepherds. Hundreds of years before Jesus is born, we have Isaiah talking about Jesus in that way. And then Jesus comes and he talks about himself as the shepherd. And we just see this picture of God's heart towards us. We want to be his sheep, right? We want to be under his protection. We want to be feeling his love and affection. And how many people know that if he didn't sacrifice his life for the sheep, like he says he does, then we wouldn't be, have access to, to God, have access to heaven. And that is, again, I, I said this the other day, if you guys were here on a Sunday when I spoke, that's the biggest deal in human history. It still is. It happened 2,000 years ago, and it's still the biggest thing to ever happen in human history. And that's what we focus on tonight. And, and Jesus wants us to have fun. He wants us to hang out. Have fun tonight, and that's, that's what we want at Pantana Student Ministry. We want all that, and we don't have to choose between Jesus and fun. We don't have to choose between presence and, and focusing on God. We could do it all together. And so I just encourage you guys as we go through the night, just know Jesus is here with us. The Bible says wherever two or more are gathered in his name, he's there in the midst. Well, we're gathered here in Christ's name. So he's here. He's here right now, and he wants to hang out with us. He wants to have fun, and that is such a cool thing to think about. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to get started with some games, all right? Who's ready for some games and to win some prizes? Who wants to win prizes? Nobody wants to win prizes? Come on, guys. It's Christmas. Let's go. All right, cool. All right. All right, I think I need, I need, I need five, five chairs up here. Five chairs up here. All right. Okay. All right, now you guys get up on the stage and sit in them. All right. 
Okay, what's our first game call? I believe it is Face the Cookie. Face the Cookie. Who knows Face the Cookie? All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to have everybody take a cookie, and you're going to put it on your forehead, and then you're going to get it down to your mouth without your hands. Sound good? All right, whoever wins gets a prize. All right, so, okay, what's your name? Briley. Briley, we got Briley, and you? Sophie. We got Briley, Sophie, Titus, Kyle, and Iris. All right, give it up, give it up. Give it up for your boys and your girls, all right. So Briley very, very wisely noticed how much that, that the student ministry loves you guys. We bought that double stuff Oreo for everybody. Okay, are you, are you guys ready? You guys ready? On your marks, get set, go! That doesn't count. Let's go, let's go. All right, Sophie, Sophie's got it on her eye. The boys are having the most problem with this. Maybe the devil stuff is too top heavy. <laughs> Titus putting it on his eye as a starting point, kind of cheating. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Almost. Somebody's got to win. Oh, we got it. All right, good job. Here's your prize. All right, everybody, get off my stage. Get off my stage, Titus. No, no, leave the, leave the chairs. Leave the chairs. Leave the chairs. Leave the chair. You probably brought your own chair. It's all right. Okay, who? Okay, my boy with the Christmas hat. Homie, right here. You, you, Cody. Let's go. We got more games coming. We got more games coming. All right. What? What happened? Chapstick. I did. I did. He stole it, but that's all right. All right. All right. All right. This is called Minute to Win It Game. So let's see if somebody could do it in a doggone minute. Are you guys ready? All right. Lowered your forehead. Yeah. All ready? All ready? On your marks, get set, go! Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. It's always the nose. It's getting around the nose. It's easier if you try to keep your face flatter. You gotta have the proper form. Oh, 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 oh! All right, everybody give it up, everybody give it up. All right, all right. We need these chairs gone. Chairs gone. Chairs gone. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. We'll, we'll get you. All right, let's see. Okay, candy cane drop. All right, all right, I need some help. We need, need to bring the supplies on the stage. All right, I need two teams of five. All right, let's get one in a blue, blue sweatshirt, black shirt here. Cody, since you got you got jib last time, 
Blue long sleeve shirt, red jacket. Get over here. If I called you up, come get on stage. If I called you up, get on stage. If, if I called you up, get on stage. You played last game. I'm sorry. You are ineligible. All right. No, no, no. You guys get off. I didn't call you guys. Get off. Get out of here. It's like you guys are all the ninth grade boys. People are going to think this is rigged. I said you. You're good. You're fine, yeah. How many we got? How many we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I need four more people. Four more people. You? You? You. Okay, all right. It's at random, guys. It's, I don't, it's not, okay, we got two teams of five? All right, here we go. All right, separate, separate on, there's nine, okay. The first person to get up on stage. You might help me. Unless you already went. Did you already play, homie? Sorry, he can't play. Who's ever heard of limbo? That's not what we're doing. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, let's get let's get five people on one side, five people on the other. All right, everybody grab a candy cane. A candy cane. A candy cane. Okay. All right. All right. We, let's get one person, two, one person on this side right here. One person is going to take turns. All right. The first team to get all five, you're going to hit, you're going to get the candy cane out in front of you. It has to be higher up, higher up, straight out, straight out in front of the body. Okay. And we're going to drop it and we're going to try and hang it on the tinsel. Oh, okay. So first team to get every candy cane wins. Pick it up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. 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 Yeah. One at a time. One at a time. Ready? No. No. Everybody. Everybody drops one candy cane. Okay. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Straight out in front. Let me see that form. Straight out in front. Straight out in front. If you if you miss, then do it again. Keep going until you drop it. Keep going. Keep going until you hang it. Straight out. Straight out. Straight out, up, up, come on. This high, everybody this high. How many, five? Boom, five. You guys did it. All right, they did it. All right, we got over here. Broken. Winners. Okay, all right, go sit down. You, you five, come with me. You five, good work. Good job. You don't win, but good job. All right, winners, come here. All right, all right. Sounds good. Yeah. Who wants candy canes? Who wants candy canes? Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. All right. Okay, what's our next game here? The Christmas tree rip. Okay. What's our rules for the Christmas tree rip? What's our rules? How many people we need? How many people do we need? Do we have uh, the marshmallow munch first? Or is that after? 
Five people, five people. All right. Gray sweatshirt. Candy cane pants. Elias. Candy cane hat. All right, one more, one more. If you already went, don't ask. Okay. This is what we're gonna do. Take one sheet and pass it down. Take one sheet and pass it down. All right, this is what you're gonna do. As fast as you can, in one minute, in one minute. I'll put my timer out. You're gonna put them down. You're gonna put the paper behind your back and you're gonna tear it into the best Christmas tree you can. All right? All right, I need, hey, they need to hear some noise so that they can do this well. All right? All right, you guys ready? On your mark, you got one minute, I'm timing it. On your mark, it's it. Wait for it, go. I got it. Fifty seconds left. They need some encouragement. Let's go. Can I look at it? Thirty seconds left. Thirty seconds left. All right. Keep it behind your back. Keep it. We'll have reveals after the at the end here. Fifteen seconds left. Christmas trees look like this, by the way. That's what they look like. Time. All right. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Okay, all right, hold on, let's see. All right, all right, who likes, what's your name? Joey. All right, who likes Joey's tree? Yeah! yeah. All right, who likes Elias' tree? He's holding it. He's holding it. What's your name? What's your name? Penelope. Who likes Penelope's? Yeah! All right, what's your name? Riley? Who likes Riley's? Yeah! Ooh. Who likes Anais? Okay, I think I think it's between. I mean, who has the better tree? It's between Joey and or no, I'm sorry. It's between what's your name? Penelope. It's, okay, let's let's. Do, I think it's between these two here. Who likes this one best? Who likes this one best? I think you got it. I think she got it. I don't know if it's the best tree, but it was the loudest screams, so. There's no difference. All right. Okay. All right, five more people. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. One more time. Right here. Nico. Blue jacket. Green jacket. Elf ears. Wait, hold on. Okay. That's all right. You're good. You're good. Take, take one and pass it. That's all right. We got more paper. It's okay. Everybody got one? Everybody got one? Oh, here. Oh, you already went up here? Oh, man. You're trying to trick me. That's rude. All right. You guys ready? I got too many the first time. All right. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Go, 30 seconds left. Oh, 
Again, for reference, this is what Christmas trees look like. There's one over there as well. Their faces are so concentrated. This Five seconds left. Three, two, one, time. All right, let's see what we got. We got, all right. All right, who likes this one? Nobody, okay, I'm sorry. We still love you. Who likes this one? It does look, it does look like a tree. Yeah, all right, who likes this one? Okay. That was a good one, too. All right, who likes this one? Okay, all right, and who likes this one? Okay, you know, honestly, I think Nico, Nico took it. That's the thing. That's right, the, the, the boy showed up this time. All right, go ahead and pick a prize from the table here, Nico. All right, now we got marshmallows, marshmallow munch. Ooh, how many people we need for this one? How many people? Five, five more people. Five more people. If you've been up here already, don't come up. If you've been up here already, don't come up. There. Blue stretch right here. Next round. Next round, next round, next round, next round. I think we got five already. I, I pointed at you, you're good. We got homie here. Who else did I point at? All right, you're good. Yeah. Okay, everybody get a cup of hot chocolate and a cup of marshmallows from the table over here. Somebody, somebody get some Uber Uber Eats for this for this guy right here. Boom. Okay. All right. I hope you guys are feeling hungry today. Okay, listen. All right. The first one to finish hot chocolate and marshmallows wins. But listen, if I see a bunch of marshmallows at your feet, that don't count. The marshmallows isn't going to go in the belly. All right? Are you guys ready? Anybody want to opt out? You can take the lid off the hot chocolate if you want. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, you guys ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Don't burn your mouth. Not sure that strategy is going to win. What we got? What we got? Don't choke. <laughs> they got to be down. They got to be all the way down. I'd have gone with the hot chocolate second to wash down the marshmallows. What we got? What we got? Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Let's go. Let's go. Who's going to take it? Who's going to take it? You done, Ski? Let me see. Let me see the cuffs. I got to be all the way down. Winner, winner, winner. All right, go pick a prize. Go to work, everybody. You'll be done with those in another 30 minutes. Whoa, 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 hey. Let's... That's yours, it's yours. That's your prize, that's your consolation prize. Yeah. Take your cups with you. I was all done with them, too. All right, five more, let's go, five more. Five more. Who's hungry? Who's hungry? Santa hat. You come up yet? Hi. Right. How many we got? How many we got? We got five? All right. All right. Everybody clear with the rules? Yeah, you can take the lid off if you like. Everybody clear with the rules? We got one more. All right, everybody clear? You guys good with the rules? 
Just as fast as you can. I don't want to see no marshmallows on the floor. On your mark, get set, go. Make some noise. Make some noise. Here we go. All the way down, all the way down. <laughs> Somebody say Chubby Bunny. Where we at? Where we at? We got oh, almost done here. No, nope, got a bunch of marshmallows. It's only like 75 marshmallows, guys. Come on. Almost there. Is that everything? Hot chocolate too? Let me see. Let me see. All right, winner. Good work. Go ahead and pick a prize. Yeah, yeah, you take your cups with you. Okay, all right. So, we got one more game. And everybody gets to play. Everybody gets to play. Okay, does everybody see the saran wrap ball and pair of dice on the table? All right, everybody listen up. I want everybody give me your attention here because I don't want to hear no complaints about I didn't know how to play. Everybody up here, quiet down. Shh. 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 All right. All right. This is what we're going to do. In the middle of every table, there's a saran wrap ball and a pair of dice. In that saran wrap ball, you will find candy. In the center, in the center of that saran wrap ball, you will find a gift card. All right, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna roll the dice, okay? You're gonna pick, I say maybe high roll starts, okay? And then somebody starts to unwrap the saran wrap ball and the person next to them starts rolling the dice. When the person rolls doubles, you got to pass the saran wrap ball to them. And then the next person rolls the dice until they roll doubles. So, the every, so it goes around until that saran wrap ball is completely open and somebody wins the gift card. You cannot tear it. You got to unwrap it. You got to unwrap it. No, no cheating. Any questions? What? No. All right. Everybody good? Everybody, everybody gets to play. Everybody has a chance to win. After, hey, all right, one more thing. Shh, 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 shh. All right, up here. Up here, we're almost ready. We're almost ready. After we're done here, go ahead and feel free to hang out. Go get some more food. Go to the photo booth. It prints out the photo for you tonight. All right, guys. All right, guys, I'm, I'm happy to start when we can have a quiet room. All right. After we're done, feel free to hang out, go to the photo booth, eat some food, take your prize home. All right. Okay. Everybody got, everybody got your tables figured out? Oh, there is a ring that somebody left that Robin back here has. If you are missing a ring, go ask Robin. Sound good? Everybody check if you're missing a ring. And after we're done here, go ahead and feel free to decorate them cookies too. All right, everybody say Merry Christmas, Amy. Merry Okay. All right. Everybody feel good? 
On your mark and set, go.